What is up, people? Welcome back to Throttling Frames. This is your host, Mayur, and we're back with absolutely amazing video that's coming from Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020. Now, what you see behind me is the carrier landing challenge that's coming from a DLC in the game, and we'll be splitting this video in two parts. One, I'll be doing it with VR, and two, without the VR. So the difference is, in VR, you really get a very immersive gameplay. You feel as if you are right inside the cockpit and having the control of the jet. But when you play it on a monitor, you're actually looking everything on a flat screen, Although it's it's a big monitor, I'm using a LG Ultra Gear 27 inches. It's a 2K monitor. The monitor is definitely going to give me a lot more detail and better graphics than in VR. But uh, there are absolutely two different modes of playing and two different experiences. I just wanted to see which one does help me perform better. So let's begin. So like I said, we'll be doing the carry landing challenge in this video. And we'll be flying the F-18 Super Hornet. So let's just quickly go and click on fly. All right, there we go. Carrier landing challenge starts and uh, this is the carrier that we're going to land upon. And um, I mean, it's quite simple. You just have to play around with the throttle. And there we are. We are in the cockpit. And I'm using Logitech's uh, Attack 3. It's a tiger of a joystick that I have. It's really an amazing joystick. Uh, I've been using this joystick for over 10 years now. It's actually that that old. It's it's really old. It's a 10 year old joystick. And the challenge is all about uh, how well you can hold on uh, to the throttle and keep the flight gliding. So currently, I'm doing 230 knots. I need to uh, drop it down to say about 180 and we've nicely lined up just slightly uh, Lyra. You're high. yeah I'm high yep just coming down coming down real hard okay okay real hard all right all right did I did I did I okay okay, okay. nope <laughs> nope I didn't I just ready to fly bring it back and let go, let go, let go. Oh, I'm still high. But oh, that's weird. Okay. Okay. I think it's all alter again. Nope. Nope, 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 boy. Come to the greens. Ball. Roger ball, okay. You're a little high. Little high, okay. Coming down. Throttle down. And that can be a touchdown. Can it? Can it? Can it? Oh no! 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 Okay, down. I have enough speed to glide. Clara, I have enough speed to glide. I'm just gonna keep the ball right on that. All right. Okay. Good boy. Good boy. Alright, so uh, how well did I do? <laughs> because that was a very poor landing though, I'm pretty sure. C. Okay, C. I've scored B on this. I've, I'm sure I've scored B on this. B is uh, about 10 lakh points. It's just This is just 1 lakh 39,000. And A is 15 lakh. Damn, I mean, that, this, is, this is really difficult, yeah. All right, let's restart and try for a better score this time. We're looking good, looking good. That'd be a good landing, I think so. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Yep. 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 That was definitely a good landing. I'm not sure uh, what score I have achieved. Let's see. Definitely a better score. Uh, it's 3 lakh this time. <laughs> but it's, I'm still at C. Still at C. Okay, let's uh, let's take best of three. So I'm just gonna do it once more without the VR. Just 
should not be swinging the aircraft. The slingshot effect is, uh, it's, a, it's a little weird. Not the slingshot, the rubber band effect. See, see, it just keeps seesawing. I'm at 180 knots, that's too fast. Okay, let's just drop the speed a little. Still not uh, aligned with the aircraft. Oh. Aircraft carrier, I'm sorry. Okay, let's just concentrate. Pull up a little. Going down, going down. No, 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 no. You're a little low. Yep. One hell of a landing. I'm nice. I think I have done better than last time let's see let's see up oh, nope <laughs> nope it's still at one lakh so my best score was uh, five lakh so yeah I, I, I have never seen B so we have finished doing this thrice and the best was on the second time when I scored about three lakh points so uh, now I'll be doing this wearing my VR all right then, here we are, we are back with the VR. I'm using the Oculus Quest 2 for this one. Let's go to Maverick Activities, Challenges. Come down to San Diego, Carry Recovery. And we're gonna do this. Uh, let's try best of three again, uh, using the VR. Just gonna say fly. All right, so there we are, we are in the cockpit. Let's get rid of the mouse pointer. We have the beautiful sunset on our right. We look around. And San Diego shoreline on the left. We have the aircraft carrier right in front of us. Let's start aligning with the carrier's runway. We're doing about 1200 feet right now at about uh, 130 knots. Uh, need to bring down my speed. I'm a little too fast right now. As I'll start descending, it is going to gain speed. Like I said, the graphics aren't really on point. They are a lot less sharper than what I see on the monitor. But what helps wearing the uh, wearing the VR is uh, is the perspective. You actually feel like you are in the cockpit and you have the control of the jet, so it really helps you. Maneuver the aircraft a lot better than what you see on a flat screen monitor. Doing about 128. That's a little too fast. Uh, let's drop the speed down to about uh, 120. Yep, that's a good speed. Roger ball. Roger ball. Flying low. Okay, need to climb a little. Little. You're low. I know that. Okay, okay. Bringing the boy in. Let's do that. Nicely aligned with your runway, throttle down to idle and pull up on the stick, catch the hook and there we go. It's a beautiful aircraft carrier, we have landed successfully, let's see how much have we scored onto this. Right in the first try, we have managed to do 3 like 18,000. <laughs> like I said, it's... Uh, it's a lot better in the VR. All right, let's do the best of three again. Uh, let's uh, restart. Let's fly back. Steady. Flying low, flying low. But good speed there. Bring it to the left a little. No, I'm not. Not low. Just gliding it. Just gliding it. Throttle down to zero. Pull back on the stick. Catch the hook. Drop down the nose. There we are. 
Right on the aircraft carrier. <laughs> We like eighty four thousand. Yeah, baby. I think uh, that's that's more than what I achieved on uh, on the monitor. Okay, let's do it one more time and then we can talk about it. Let's fly. Get back in the air. Here we are, right back inside the cockpit. Let's get rid of the mouse pointer. We have the beautiful San Diego coast on our left. We have an amazing sunset on the right. And we have the aircraft carrier right in front of us. Let's try and align it with the aircraft carrier's runway, doing 1200 feet at about 123 knots. We need to maintain speed and slowly glide down. I'm a little fast, need to drop speed gonna keep it at about 120 yeah that's good that's good speed that's good speed start aligning with the aircraft's carriers runway going fast again Right, pulling up a little, dropping speed. Up. Again, back to 120. Yep, I know that. I know that. Coming at about 122, 200 feet. Nicely aligned with the runway. I'm not low. Thank you. That's wrong information. Throttle down to zero, pull up, and touch down. Catch the hook, bring the nose down, and we have landed on the carrier. That's a good landing. Very smooth, very accurate. Let me see the score. Yep, so we have scored about 2,57,000, so I think 3,80,000 was the best score. Let me get rid of the VR. Uh, it gets too sweaty inside here and let's talk. So talking about the landing experience, uh, two different types, one on the monitor, one on the Oculus uh, Quest 2. I think I was more comfortable wearing the uh, VR because the perspective is a lot better than looking at everything on a flat screen monitor. No matter how detailed or how amazingly beautiful those graphics are on the uh, monitor, it becomes a lot less sharper on the VR because the VR that I'm using is uh, is a very entry level VR. I'm using the Oculus Quest 2. Definitely the the the, the HTC Vive and uh, Steam VR they're, they're doing a lot better job out there. But uh, yeah, the VR that I'm using it's it's a lot less sharper uh, than what I see on the monitor. But the the perspective that I get on the VR is is right on point. Like I actually feel like I'm inside the cockpit and looking at the aircraft carrier. So it becomes very easy for me to maneuver the aircraft, uh, looking at the aircraft carrier, the distance, uh, lining, in the, lining it up with the runway and uh, you know gliding it on the glide slope. It becomes really, really very easy. So yeah, definitely, this definitely is a win uh, over the monitor. Uh, monitor, on the other hand, it, it really visually pleases you. It is beautiful, just amazing. Like if you really want to play Microsoft Flight Simulator and you really want to experience it at its best you need an amazing monitor maybe a 4k on a 3090 card i'm on a slightly lower configuration i'm on a 2k monitor with g-sync on a 3080 ti card so yeah it gives me good but it's not still the best but again like i said the user experience the 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 flying experience is a lot better in the vr then on the monitor so guys thank you for joining me on this one i should see you guys very soon on the next one stay tuned stay subscribed bye bye